Mr. Travis, what are you doing? Take that out of your mouth. How do you think the treatment has been going, Mr. Travis? Checkmate. That's not when you say it. Mr. Travis, I'll answer a question. How do you think... Checkmate! <sighs> Hector. That's my name. How do you think the treatment has been going? Mm, it's pretty alright. Food's not bad. This place isn't really that bad. It's your go. Doctor, you know I don't know jack shit about how to play, uh, how to play white jack. This is black jack. Wait, wait. Have you been making random moves against me? No, I just copied everything you were doing. And here I thought you knew how to play the game well. Fuck no, who has time for cards? Anyway. Checkmate. You don't say checkmate here. That's for chess. Why not? This is a card game. And chess is a board game. Well, you know what? I'm gonna fucking end this game. Checkmate! Are you ready for tomorrow, then? Slightly confident. A little dismayed. I'm, I'm just gonna, you know, just gonna... Gonna miss everybody in here. Well, don't be. Be more confident. I mean, is there anything you're looking forward to when you get out there? Sex. Not bad at all. But I was thinking more of family. What? Doctor, I'm not going to shag my family, you fucking sicko. No, I didn't mean that, Hector. I meant, do you not look forward to meeting your family after all this time? You're a fucking psycho, that's what you are. Fucking wrongin'. Filthy behaviour. Hector, we spoke about this. Spoke about what? Your behaviour, you know, your filthy behaviour is not acceptable for the outside world. <gasps> oh! Filthy behaviour! No, 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 wait, 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 okay. It was me that clogged the toilet, but that wasn't intentional. Okay, it was. I didn't mean it though. That's a normal human response. Actually, wait, you clogged the toilet. That's gonna cause a lot of... Trouble. <laughs> no! <laughs> I call it the gag reflex. Because, you know... Be careful, Mr. Ready to face the outside world? You do know we still have sessions to do. Tell you what, I am not going to help you with your wank sessions. You can fuck that. That is too Hector. Dead. I will not Hector. do that. Fuck that. Sorry. 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 You know, I just wanted to thank you. For what? I wanted to thank you for everything you've done these past two years, helping me out of my troubles. Nobody's really done that for me before, you know. You do really deserve this job that you have. Now. Thank you. It is my job. You know, I actually did enjoy speaking with you. Yeah. Oh, shit. No way. What's wrong? I, I just realised you might have... Uh, <laughs> all over the place. Although you might be a lefty and shit. Behave, Hector. Sorry. 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 How do you sound like a robot? Ah. Uh, my parents used to abuse me when I was a little child. It wasn't a pretty sight. But make sure you behave in the outside world. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure, go ahead. What to behave again? 
You know perfectly well what that is. Hector? <laughs> I've just sucked the world! Yeah. Hector, are you here? Yes, are you? I believe so. Have you got any weed? I want to get high. I want to go high in the sky! There are no drugs here. Weed is not a drug. Yes, it is. It is a plant that when burnt makes you feel things. Horniness, hunger. Hector, I just want to ask you some questions. Will you answer them? Okay, what's the question? What is the question? To me or not to me? That is. Do you have weed? I think the cameraman has weed. He's wearing the one. Oh my god. This guy. Can you please focus? Focus on what? Can you just focus on the interview, please? Focus! Hector, where has life come to since you've got an hour asylum? Hello everyone, um, my name is Matthew and today we've all come here to explain how we're feeling. So, I'll start off by saying that I've been in some pretty bad places and I've been in some pretty good places. And I'm sure, yeah, all of you have come here because you are pretty some in some dark places. And, um, <coughs> and... Today we're going to go around in circles and explaining about what we're, feel what we're feeling. Okay, so would anyone like to start off? Hi, I'm Harley Rockney. I'm here because I have a few anger problems. Quite a lot actually. He looks too fucking scary. He's not that bad. Oh, sorry, what? I said he's not that bad. Oh, now the cock's out of your mouth. Are you fucking insane? You are. Yes, I know, but that's not the fucking point. The point is, he looks like he could eat your soul. Look, Hector, you're just exaggerating, man, like you always do. He looks, I don't know. Like Satan? Cool. Chilled. Relaxed. If anything, he looks better than you do. You look freakier. Hey, 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 hey. I already said, I know. But that's not the fucking point, you fucking idiot. Fucking Jabba the Hutt look like bitch. Fucking black punk. There's nothing you have to say. Fuck you, Hector! We're sharing. Okay, I can share. It's not your turn yet. Whose turn is it then? It's Harley's. Harley? Okay. Let's go. Hi, Harley Watkin. I'm here because I have a few anger problems. Quite a lot, actually. I used to take my anger out on animals, and then it escalated to people. I used to look for people to fight, even people who were just nice to me. And that's why I'm here. Listen, listen. I don't understand. I want you to have a look at this porn picture. It's really nice. Oh. Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. Let's go watch it. It's not making any sound. I think all these other people are going to watch it too. What are we doing? What are you doing? Why are you talking with me? Fuck off. Uh, Fuck off! Hector! Ah! Oh. Ah! 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 <laughs> Fuck you all, nigga from snowman. Hey, huh? It wasn't me! For fuck's sake, do you want to see some porn? <laughs>
What are you doing? Fuck out of here. Hey, Tom! He's black. Have you ever killed someone? Um, what? Have you ever taken a life? I don't think you should ask that. I think you should shut the fuck up when I'm talking. Do you understand? I'm the boss here now. No. No, I haven't killed anyone. Oh, you fucking liar. May I ask you a question, though? Go on. Could you shut the fuck up? Do you want to be friends? I don't mind being friends with a psychotic murderer. <laughs> Wait. Do you masturbate at all? Whoa. Okay. But still, anyway, I've had fun since I left the asylum, and uh, I, 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 I'd like to go and have a wank now, if that's okay. Um, no, we're going to finish the interview. Well, uh, uh, can I smoke some weed? No, because no. we really have only have a little time with you to interview. They well, I don't to give a shit. I'm going to go and wank. Can I, Hector. Can Hector. I go and wank? No. Fine, I'll just do it here. Hector, behave, please. Hector, can you stop? Splash is out. Hector, what's life been like with your family? It's been okay, um, I guess. Um, meeting them after so long is so... It's weird because I never used to spend time with them before. I mean, I only used to spend time with them... <laughs> I only used to spend time with them um, like once every year or once every month. We were never close together. We were so distant, and, you know, we would never... I, I just didn't connect to them on an emotional level, but now it just feels like we can all be one joyous, happy family full of black people, you know. So you're good with James and Simon? I think James is a prick. I think he's an unnecessary cunt, and I think he should be shot immediately upon sight. Simon, however, is a bit of a... Simon's a different... Ballpark. Simon is very nice. Yes, he's a very nice person. It's like, it's like he understands my craziness. I don't know how he understands that. That's why I hang out with him so much because I'm allowed to be this crazy person around him, and he accepts me for that. Hi. You all right. You're the postman. What? Do I look like a postman? Of course I'm not the postman. Yes. In fact, I don't trust you right now. How comes? I shunned my neighbor's garden last week. Fair to say we've been in some kind of war for the past year. Although it's not completely impossible for them to use you as a fucking lackey. Oh, look. There he is. Look. Fuck you! If you're not the postman or Pablo, then who the fuck are you? Don't you remember me? Hex is your cousin Simon. Simon. Simon! <laughs> Little Simon! The one with pubes for hair. Yeah. What was that nickname I used to give you? Simon says your dick is very small. Simon says your girlfriend is very small. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 it's me. Thank you so long to visit me, man. I'm so happy. Come in. Let's take some crack. Wait, what? Well, take a seat. I'm not wasting your time, am I? Very good, pretty good apartment here. Yeah? Really? Yeah, I'd love to have a house like this. I think it's shit. Oh, I'm sorry then. 
How's uh, how's life? <laughs> yeah. Good. Well, it's okay. You know, I've got some good stuff. I've got some bad stuff. You know how life works. How did you find me? My mum. Yeah, sh I asked for your address and she gave me your address and she told me to come in. How is that, my mum? Yeah, she's, she's been look. Hey, so I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. Can I guess the bad news? What? Can I guess the bad news? Look, hey, I'm getting married, alright? Yeah, I'm getting married to this girl called Amy and I want you to be there. I'm getting the whole family together, whole clan in. It would be good if you're there. Wow. That's, that's great. I'm happy for you, Simon. Thanks. Listen, let me tell you something. Do you want to know what I first thought when I first saw you? That you were the oh, ugliest the motherfucker, motherfucker in yeah. the world. Yeah, yeah, you told me that. Yes, I did. So, who's the lucky bride? Is it Stevie Wonder? Funny. Oh, so you're not denying that you really are getting married to a black man, My dad you? just fucking died, Hector! Bomba clock! So can you please just shut the fuck up? Whoa. And start acting like an adult. Oh, okay, okay. Telling me that Uncle James is dead. Yeah. How did he die? Cancer. <laughs> he died a while back. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I never came. Simon, 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 come, 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 please, 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 come, 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 look, look, look. I am really sorry, okay? But you, you've just got to understand, I've come out of the asylum for about how many years? Two years, that's it, and I haven't seen you guys in three years. And I'm happy to meet all you motherfuckers, I mean black people. I mean family, okay? Just understand me for who I am, okay? Please. Sorry, okay? Come on, come on, Simon. I lucky I missed you. So dumb, <laughs> Shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> so when are we going to meet the family, faggot? So what do you think of the family? Annoying bunch of fucking people. Feels like walking into a fucking <laughs> crack house. Yeah. Sometimes the family could be a little crazy, but hectic at times as well. How the fuck do you deal with them anyway? Not easy. Just don't hang around with them. That's how I feel about your mum. What the fuck, Hector? I thought we were sharing. No, you don't talk about my mum like that, do you understand? Show some respect. When she's here, I'll show some no, respect. you respect her now. That's agree to disagree. About what? About your mum. <sighs> you are a fucking annoying person, do you know that? <laughs> I'm older than you, respect me. Yeah, by a few months. And don't you forget that, you little bitch. <sighs> Whatever. Look, can I just say what I want to say? Are you coming out to me? Are you gay? I'm going to pretend that you never said that. So you are gay? Look, why don't you get to know the family? We haven't heard from you in ages. It's only fair they know that you went to war. Because I've just come back from fighting a war and now I'm fighting another war which happens to be my family, which happens to be full of blacks. You know? God, we're Mauritian. Yeah, half black, yeah. But we're Mauritian. In the between us. And in between, it sounds like a weird euphemism for sex, doesn't it? You know? <coughs> I'm going to go in between you. Look, could you just get along with the family, yeah? Oh, well, look, and Helen too. I mean, honey. <laughs> you forgot her name. <laughs> you idiot, Simon. Go ahead, say what you wanted to say. Just get along with honey. Yeah, she could be the worst person at times, but... It will help if you get along with her. So you want me to fuck her? But that's your cousin's girlfriend. You said get along with her. Don't was shag her. Just be mates with her. Just get along. Get along with everyone. So you want me to be nice to everybody? You're giving me mixed signals here. So you want me to be nice to everybody? Like a doctor? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like a doctor. Well, in that case, I'm Dr. Hannibal Lecter. 
Where are your credentials, Miss Styling? Closer. What do you want, peasant? I want you to come bowling with me. Will there be food? Is it a date? No, it's not a date. Then I will not be buying food. Will you be paying for us to bowl? Fuck no. Then what could you possibly offer me that would entice me enough to join you to bowl? I will tell Honey that you were looking at wedding catalogues. Fucking Sonico. Does that mean you're coming? Could you not dance right there, please? What did I say to me, boy? I said... <sighs> Never mind. What are we doing here anyway? Well, Honey insisted that I take you out. I, I told her that I wasn't gay, obviously, but she just kept nagging and nagging and nagging. The bitch would not stop nagging. She said... <sighs> she wants you to make me propose to her. Now that I think about it, she did say some shit about get him to talk about weddings and sex and marriage and kids and all that shit. I'm just waiting for the right time. Listen, little cousin. Sometimes you don't have to wait for the right time. Sometimes shit just happens, you know. We're not talking about the same thing, are we? I was talking about, you know, lasting long in bed and not uh, <laughs> everywhere. What were you talking about? Hector, try to be serious for once. I just don't think I'm ready for such a thing. I love her so much. But marriage? I was going to wait till after Cambridge. What should I do? I've got an idea. And it might not be as crazy as you think it is. It's not sex again, is it? No, 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 no. Shut the fuck up, James. What we're going to do is... We're going to play more ball. Oh. Yes, both. Wait, wait. That thing with the long stick where you hit the balls in? The fucking disgusting. A game of porn. I didn't mean that. Could you stop? This is fun. <laughs> I don't care. Do you mind, Hector? Stop, stop it, stop. I'm not in the mood. I am. You're really not funny. Oh, I'm inclined to disagree, my friend. Go ahead and disagree. The fact remains. Well, it's a fact right here. You're on the end of my stick. I could break the stick. Oh, yeah, but then you'd have to touch it, wouldn't you? And you don't want to touch it, do you, James? Of course not. Straight. Well, I'm not too sure about that. Oh, really? Because you're right here taking the air on my belong dick. Why are you like... Do you know what? Get it out of my face, okay? Fine. Why are you like this? Like, so weird and rude and just generally a prick. I wish I could tell you, but, uh... I don't trust your hairline. What? 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 What about my hairline? Your hairline looks a bit like a maze. A labyrinth. That's it. A labyrinth. <laughs> Fuck you, Hector. <laughs> it's not my fault that your mum's your barber. I'm gonna hit you if you don't stop. Ooh. Is that what you told Honey when you were fucking her last night? Woo! 
but that's none of my business, is it? Oh, Kermit, don't talk about Hamlet honey like that. Why is her name called Honey? I mean, she isn't exactly sweet, is she? <laughs> I mean, she should be called something like uh, Salt or Marmite or Ebola. Did you just call my girlfriend an illness? Well, Ebola's a virus, but that. James, you hit like a bitch! Ah, oh. James, can I tell you something? You are really shit poor. I do my best. Well, perhaps your best wasn't really good enough. I remember when we were kids and you would cry each time you lost at football. Do you know how sad that was? I had bigger concerns, okay? Bigger concerns like what, being a dickhead? Like being the smartest person I can be. <laughs> Not too funny. Do you know what you said when you were about five? I was eight when I heard this, and I still keep this in my head because, well, I'm fucking insane, but do you know what you told your mother? I was there when you said it. What? I want to be a king when I grow up. And what's wrong with that? Well, you think you're a king now when you really aren't. You try to become something that you aren't. That's your problem. You're trying to be like honey. I know you love honey, but stop trying to become her because she's such a bitch. Do not, and I repeat, do not talk about honey like that. You know what I think? I think you just can't accept that you're crazy. You're delusional. I'm crazy, Simon's crazy, Denny's crazy, Honey's crazy. She's going to join our family eventually because you're going to pop the question. Or are you? What's taking you so long? It's not the right time, I told you that already. That's wrong, nigga. I have many, 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 many more concerns and things to worry about before marriage, okay? You're afraid of commitment. I'm not afraid of commitment. It's That's why I am still with her. Tell it to someone who cares, like my butt. No, wait, that's gay. Sorry, sorry. You know what? Let me think. Let me think of a better joke, okay? Just stand there. Let me come up with a better alternative. Let me think. Okay, I've got the joke now. Okay, I can't stop you from my head. James, stop my head. Get on with it. James, stop my head. I'm not going to be able to stop you. I'm not going to touch you. I'm being dizzy. Just do it. I know you hate me. Just do it, please. I'm really scared. You're touching my shoulder. Now talk. Are you going to kiss me? Do you know what? What about living with Denzel, known as Danny? Denny. Sorry, who? Is it the Malteser looking one? Danny. He, he's a fucking bitch. He never knows when to shut up. You know him? He's, I think he's crazier than me. I think he should be in the, in the asylum too. In fact, he was there with me at the ther therapist session. Do you know how crazy he is? He's got an imaginary girlfriend. Well, an imaginary friend. One that doesn't really suck him off, which is pretty sad because you can't get friends on by an imaginary friend, can you? Can you? Answer me. I don't think so. Cameraman, what do you think? Can't get on with the NTV. I finally found it. A nickname for the nigger. What is it now? Malteser. What? Sissy doesn't know what that means. Well, Sissy, it means that he's short, fat, chocolate colored, bald, and looks like Jabba the Hutt. What, you don't like Maltesers? No, I just don't like you. Same for us. Well, Sissy and I don't like you either. <laughs> Sissy even thinks you're weird. <laughs> you know, I've been asking this. Why do you even have an imaginary friend? I mean, last time I checked, Air does not suck dick. Sissy doesn't suck my dick, okay? Oh, so even your own imaginary friend has friend-zoned you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, what Sissy and I do 
is our business. Don't you talk to me or sissy like that ever again. I'll say whatever the fuck I want, bitch. We will respond how we like. Bitches. Shut up. Sissy, why don't you say that? Oh, she's saying how bad you stink. Because I can smell you and you do not smell good. Shut the fuck up. I mean, I could take a shit and still smell better than you. Okay, go on. But you know what? You don't deserve a taste of my brown glory. You know what? I don't deserve this shit. Okay, you feel you're so great, don't you? Well, you're not. Sissy, doesn't he? I am great. I can prove you wrong. Oh, how so, Malteser? In a game of cards. Do you accept? You're on. We are trying to do an interview on you about your book. Ask again. What do you think of life, Hector? Do you want a full elaborate answer or would you like something small? Well, we don't have lots of time, so... I think it's shit! Well, no, that's not really my answer. I'll give you my, my, my full professional answer since I've been a soldier and I've been at war. Now... What? Fine. What do I think of life? I think life is something that shouldn't be taken as something that's just anything, really. I think we should look at life as a chance to just be crazy. And we spend most of our life grieving over the shitty things in life that we shouldn't be grieving over. Such as, I don't know, your YouTube video buffering or somebody's death. Everybody dies. I lost my squadron once at war. All died right in front of me. Even my best friend died in my arms. And he shot himself just before that. But regardless, I don't think that life should be all about sadness. I think life wants people to be crazy. And I'm crazy. And that's why me and life get on so well. And that's why when I finally reach the age of 89, I'm going to be so happy. Because I know that me and life were meant to be. That we were lovers. Just drifting away in the wind together, holding hands. And just skipping and skipping and skipping. I really want to go awake now, can I please? <laughs> so, war really affected the way that you saw the world? Uh, war did. I mean, there was a lot of... Give up! Get the interviews finished. No, no, no! Is there a guy with a camera pointing it at me, recording me dress up? Dear the production company, your cameraman is gay. Any more questions? If not, then fuck off. 
How are you feeling, Hector? A little better. Tendencies? Oh, sorry. Um, just a little, but uh, you know, of course, I'm 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 gonna handle that. I'm gonna handle that. Arigato, arigato, arigato. Hector. Hector, are you still here? Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. Are you excited about the production of your film? Um, sort of. Um. Uh, I didn't think my life was going to be made into a movie, but um, I'm kind of glad to see that it's going somewhere. Um, that it's going to be amazing. It's going to be a great movie, and uh, you know, I, I I hope that you find the right person to to play me. Um, I, yeah, I guess that's what I'm really excited about. I'm excited about whoever's going to be playing me, and how crazy they have to be, and you know whether they're going to beat me. <laughs> I just hope it's not going to be some sorry cunt who can't act crazy for shit. No, we want a look-alike. A look-alike? Someone that looks exactly like you. So Someone that can bring so can bring out the craziness of Every you. black guy on the street with no. this kind of hair. Of Could course. you get Kendrick Lamar to play me? No. We've got the same hairstyle. And he screams a lot in his music. I think he would be too busy. Well, he's my favourite artist. Ugh, please don't get anybody to play um, me in a bad way. Uh, I wouldn't like that. It would be shit. Well, you can be part of the interview process with the actors. Do you think that's a good idea? It might be. It might be. Seeing as, well, you are Hector. I killed a man with two fingers once. I didn't finger him to death if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> would you kill one of the actors? Maybe. Oh no, wait. Um, if you find somebody to play honey, I might kill them. You won't be part of that process. In fact, who's the director? Who's, who, who's the fucking producer? Who the, fuck, who the fuck spearheaded this production? Because I'm going to find them, I'm going to kill them. I'm going to stab them both to death. Uh, much of this production is shaded. Shaded? Shady. I might as well start with you. Uh, Hector. Sorry. Put it down. I don't feel very comfortable doing this interview. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Just get the stuff off our chest and see if we can strive for these. <laughs> Action. Fucking punk ass black bitch. This <laughs> is the look on this. I'm not helping you. I'm not helping you. Oh. Okay, see? This was on point. We don't need to take no more shots. Exactly. This is the best exactly. angle. Are you paying for us to bowl? Fuck no. Then why on any level would I... That's the word. You're <laughs> <all the way. laughs> Look, you're my existence, alright? I'm going through a tough time right now, but it doesn't mean that you're not helping me. You've worn a quote. Mindset. I've got my line. I've got my line. Look, I'm in Oh, because I'm not too sure about that. Because you're right here, taking the end of my big long dick. Oh my god, joking. So we continue. Alright, uh, do you not like Action. Well, in that case, I'm Dr. Hannibal Lecter. Where are your credentials, Clarice? Come closer. Hello. <laughs>
Okay. And you know I'm recording like. You wanna Okay. Action. Hello, you right guys? Um my name is Klein. The whole for flip Hector, you're just exaggerating as well. He looks, I don't know. <laughs> Recording this, it could be what? Bro, Chill you me. are savage. Is there anything you like to say? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you are savage. Would you like to share anything with the group here? Oh, yeah, Hector, <laughs> fuck you. Just a bit like, say what you, you like to say, me fuck you.